Today, our fallen heroes were honored. The day is about remembering those who have died, making the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom and teaching that to our youngest generation. It's a show of respect at the state's veteran cemetery in Bosquin and beyond. All our cemeteries in New Hampshire who are participating are doing this on the very day that Arlington is doing it because we're acting as one in remembrance. The New Hampshire Blue Star Mothers organized the event and have done this since 2007. Hundreds of people came to help lay wreaths at veterans' graves to honor their sacrifice. Every person that's buried out here uh, gave so much. Among the group, veteran Leo Thorsness, a prisoner of war and a Medal of Honor recipient. After six years of being locked up, I thought, if the doorknob is on the inside, it's a good day. Freedom is so precious. And uh, these people paid for it. It's something that's being taught to New Hampshire's youngest generation. Senator Kelly Ayotte brought her son. To be part of this ceremony and to understand that we're only free because of the sacrifice of those who have served our nation. One by one, wreaths were passed out and placed at more than a thousand graves, each person taking their time and giving respect. This is great for the state of New Hampshire that they have this. The veterans really deserve it. Governor Maggie Hassan says the show of support in Bosquin shows how dedicated people in New Hampshire are to veterans and their families. Today, of course, we're also remembering Colonel Andrew Amesbury, who uh, passed away this week, uh, and thinking of his family and his loved ones and wanting to express our support and gratitude to them. Both Governor Hassan and Senator Ayotte spoke at a ceremony following the wreath laying. Certainly an emotional day for all. Live in studio, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.